Suppose you have a quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and you want to find where the vertex is when you graph it. The vertex formula says that the x-coordinate of this vertex is at negative b over 2a. This video gives a justification for where that formula comes from. Let's start with a specific example. Suppose I wanted to find the x-intercepts and the vertex for this quadratic function. To find the x-intercepts, I would set y equal to 0 and solve for x. So that's 0 equals 3x squared plus 7x minus 5. And to solve for x, I use the quadratic formula. So x is going to be negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 5 all over 2 times 3. That simplifies to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 109 over 6. We could, I could also write this as negative 7 sixth plus the square root of 109 over 6, or x equals negative 7 sixth minus the square root of 109 over 6. Since the square root of 109 is just a little bit bigger than 10, this can be approximated by negative 7 sixths plus 10 sixths and negative 7 sixths minus 10 sixths. So pretty close to, I guess, about 1 half over here and pretty close to about negative 3 over here. I'm just going to estimate so that I can draw a picture of the function. Since the leading coefficient 3 is positive, I know my parabola is going to be opening up and the intercepts are somewhere around here and here. So roughly speaking, it's going to look something like this. Now the vertex is going to be somewhere in between the two x-intercepts. In fact, it's going to be, by symmetry, it'll be exactly halfway in between the two x-intercepts. Since the x-intercepts are negative 7 6 plus and minus 100, square root of 109 over 6, the number halfway in between those is going to be exactly negative 7 6. Right? Because on the one hand, I have negative 7 6 plus something. And on the other hand, I have negative 7 6 minus that same thing. So negative 7 6 will be exactly in the middle. So my x-coordinate of my vertex will be at negative 7 6. Notice that I got that number from the quadratic formula. More generally, if I want to find the x-intercepts for any quadratic function, I set y equal to 0 and solve for x using the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The x-intercepts will be at these two values, but the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is exactly halfway in between the two x-intercepts, will be at negative b over 2a. That's where the vertex formula comes from. And it turns out that this formula works even when there are no x-intercepts, even when the, the quadratic formula gives us no solutions the vertex still has the x-coordinate negative b over 2a. And that's the justification of the vertex formula.